Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Eva. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use printable HTV with your Cricut cutting machine and your inkjet printer, of course. Um, everything that I use in this video is going to be linked in the description down below. Um, this is the shirt that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. I made this Bad Bunny printable HTV shirt for my daughter. Um, it came out super nice. The colors are vibrant and beautiful. So if you guys are interested in learning how to make a shirt like this, please keep on watching. If you learn anything in this video, please be sure to give it a like. Comment down any questions that you might have down below. I will be sure to answer them. Let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I do is turn on my heat press since it does take a while to heat up. I'm gonna set it to the recommended temperature and by the time I'm done cutting my image, this will be ready. Okay, so while my heat press is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Design Space. I'm gonna create a new project. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the image that I'm going to put on the shirt. In this case, I'm gonna be using this Bad Bunny image that I had got on Etsy. I'm making this shirt for my daughter and she loves Bad Bunny. So for the width, I'm gonna do it the biggest that Cricut lets me, which is 6.75. Um, the biggest Cricut lets you print thin cut for the height is 9.25, but that's going to look too funny. So I'm going to do maybe about eight inches. All right. So I'm going to do the design this big 6.75 by eight. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to go ahead and click make it. I'm going to click send to printer. I always turn off the bleed and I do use the system dialog to make sure that I'm going to get the best quality print each time. Premium presentation paper map high quality click okay let's load our paper okay so this is a paper that i use it's photo paper direct i get it from expressions vinyl or i get it from amazon the one that i choose is good for light and dark colored material so that's what i love about it so when buying any printable heat transfer vinyl make sure you read the directions so you know what type of material it's good for i'm gonna load a sheet of paper and then i'm gonna go ahead and click print look how beautiful these colors came out you can see it's still a little bit wet it dries pretty quickly the printer that i'm using is an epson 2760 i highly recommend this printer it works well if you print on the correct settings so let's get this cut out and then i'm going to show you guys how to iron it onto the shirt I'm gonna put the paper on the mat and make sure it's stuck really well so it cuts correctly. Now we're gonna get the image cut out and the setting that I use is everyday iron-on. The Cricut is going to read the registration marks and then get the image cut out. It does take about a minute or two. So the Cricut cut out the image. I'm gonna use my tech wrap weeding pen and I'm gonna just take off the excess. So I'm gonna start in the top left hand corner and slowly peel off the white part that's not needed. You wanna take your time with this because you don't wanna rip the image, it's pretty delicate. Then I'm gonna take my weeding pen and slowly pull up the edges and then find a piece where I can start pulling up the image. So you wanna slowly peel it off the paper backing very, very slowly. And now it's ready to be pressed onto the shirt. So my heat press is still heating up. It's at 362. For this paper, it has to be at 374 for 12 seconds. Every heat transfer paper is gonna be different though. So you wanna read the directions that come with your paper. So here are the directions that came with my printable HTV. It says 374 for 12 seconds. And it does say that using a heat press is recommended to get the best results. My heat press is from Heat Press Nation and it is a 15 by 15 and I love it so much because it's a pull out so you don't have to worry about burning yourself or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to prep my shirt to make sure that the image gets pressed on correctly. So first I take off all the lint and debris, etc. Make sure there's nothing on the shirt. Then I'm going to go ahead and press the shirt for about five seconds just to make sure there's no wrinkles and to make sure that the shirt is super flat. Then I do the lint roller again just to make sure there's nothing on it. And now your shirt is ready to press. Doing all of this has given me the best results when using this type of material. 
So I have our heat transfer image right here. It's very delicate, like I said, so make sure you're super careful with it. I'm just gonna go to the shirt and lay it in the center where I want it. So I have it centered exactly where I want it. Then I'm gonna get my Teflon sheet and I'm gonna put it right over the image. And then I like to flatten it just like that to make sure that the image didn't wrinkle or fold. Just like that. Then I'm going to slide in my heat plate. Then I'm going to clamp it for the 12 seconds. Make sure you use the Teflon sheet because whenever you open um, the heat press, the Teflon sheet has to sit and cool down for about a minute or so. There's the beep. It's ready. All right. So you're going to pull it out. You're going to let the Teflon sheet cool for about 30 seconds to a minute and then we're gonna pull it up and see how our image came out okay so it's been about a minute we're gonna slowly pull off the teflon sheet very very slowly so satisfying to do this and this is how it came out look at those colors on the image super beautiful it feels amazing I've used this numerous times on plenty of shirts and it doesn't crack or peel or anything like that. Definitely recommend. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was super helpful to you. I hope it was easy to understand. I hope you now know how to make a shirt with printable HTV. Again, everything that I use is gonna be linked in the description down below. And please comment down any questions. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you learned anything new. And subscribe to my channel if you're loving my content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.